Hey, this is Mike Johnson, and I'm going to go over quickly the uh, new advanced features of the SEO Booster Pro plugin and why you really need to be using this plugin. The uh, here we are in the Google Webmaster Tools at the uh, Structured Data Testing Tool. It used to be called the Rich Snippets Testing Tool uh, for Rich Snippets, but now it's all called Structured Data. What it is is it it analyzes your web pages website for microdata that has information in it that Google can use to fine-tune uh, how your site is listed in search results and by giving Google the, this data it allows them to really really refine the search results that people are typing in and give people that are visiting Google the ability to find exactly what they're looking for now if you don't give Google this information they don't have it so most plugins out there do not allow you to put in even a fraction of what the SEO Booster Pro plugin puts in, and I'm going to explain to you why that is. Now, we have plugins like the WordPress SEO plugin and the All in One SEO plugin, both very, very good SEO plugins. We personally uh, recommend the WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast uh, as the best SEO plugin for WordPress. And uh, the SEO Booster was built to integrate. And take advantage of the power of those plugins and amplify it. And by amplify it, yes, Yoast allows you to do Google authorship and it allows you to do some social things, but it doesn't take it to where you need it to go, especially with the structured data uh, microformat technology. Now, here you'll see we use the uh, SEO Booster plugin to establish authorship. You see here when your when your listing is listed in Google. With this plugin, you'll be able to show rating if you have any kind of review and ratings established on your site, especially if you're using this plugin. It enhances and integrates seamlessly with our social review engine plugin as well. If you want to enhance this even more, um, and you have the amount of votes for it, you have the in stock price and value, and then of course you have the authorship established and the more this link will go to your Google Plus profile and this link goes to any additional content that you've established authorship with and you can click at and in Google people will visit more of your content so by establishing authorship you can enhance the traffic not just to a single listing like this but to all your listings that you created created and established authorship with it's extremely extremely powerful and extremely important now here in 2013 that you do this now this is just a very small snippet of what we got to talk about now you can see here all our markup is established um, we've got tons of uh, entries and URLs established especially important is our video that's on the page our established image on the page Google's also acknowledged with this property value here they've also acknowledged that we are interacting with Facebook open Grab. all of this is associated with the entries that we've put into the SEO booster pro plugin for Facebook open Graph. you can't do this with a Yoast uh, WordPress SEO or all-in-one SEO plugins here you've got your description title all things that we've done individually just for Facebook open graph uh, we could have this to be completely different than any other content that we've established whether it's down here or an actual item stuff here we can make this all different and of course we got our base image uh, and we got our YouTube video video size everything and why is that important because then in Facebook that can show up and I'm going to show you that here shortly but then you got the product values you got all the review stuff every rating aggregate rating and then the, the individual ratings the reviews the individual the timestamp and this is all from the social review engine plugin integration here with every single review and rating extreme powerful uh, indexing of all that content every single thing is indexable because it's formatted through the structured data setup that Google wants to see now you got the actual offer rating the price the US do US dollars new and the in stock values that we've established up in the uh, the listing itself and then we have established the video interaction with Google as well to enhance the not only the listing itself not only the the blog post itself but the video ranking in YouTube as well so Google acknowledges that and you can actually have that video now 
pop up with the blog post in Google search because of the rich snippet integration structured data integration that the SEO Booster Pro has. Now this is still a very, very, very small part of what the SEO Booster Pro plugin does and I'm going to show you why. Now we go in here and for example the WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast it has a general tab that where you can you know show you can fine-tune your meta tags get a page analysis go into advanced get your you know index or no index follow your uh, canonical URLs etc etc and then if you enhance if you set up the social settings and you do Google authorship inside of the plugin this social tab will pop up as well and on a page by page or post by post basis you will be able to add in a custom Facebook description and a custom Google item prop description now this is very limiting and you can't adjust your title you can't adjust images uh, or anything else there's no other optimization it simply has you know Facebook when the open graph uh, API connects it sends them whatever you have in your base post here whatever your title here is in your blog post that's what it takes now for enhanced search engine optimization we want this stuff to be a little bit different we want to modify it and we also want to be able to have our content show up in Google Plus with the, the Google Plus social network and Facebook especially with Facebook graph search now and in Twitter we want to have our content show up exactly the way we want it not by the way it gets scanned here on our blog post we might have multiple images we might have multiple videos but we want to make sure that the specific things that we want from each and every page and post gets shared the way we want so when somebody clicks on a like or a, a Google Plus or a Twitter tweet your content is shared and when that content shared people see snippets of it and when they see snippets of it what do they see they see things in Google Plus like this you can see here you have this is a shared item this picture the title the story and the snippet here are all item that was shared this person shared shared this from marketing land they shared this content now when we switch to Facebook you can see the same thing we have you know the normal Facebook share there's the image there's the title the website it came from and then there's the snippet you have well, that's how that content was shared because that's the way the page is set up for open graph to be read to share it now we've upgraded since these listings were in our Facebook fan page and now um, you can see we've added the uh, keep clicking on that we've added the video to our open graph so with the SEO booster pro now in Facebook we have somebody share it we can also automatically share our video with it simultaneously as we're also sharing a unique image as well all this can be customized with the SEO booster pro and same thing we have video shares here with Twitter cards on in Twitter if you've seen content shared on Twitter and you've seen stuff like this you might have thought well that's for you know accounts that have a lot of followers or whatever no it's for it's simply sites that have had content shared where they've incorporated Twitter card API development technology into their site and now they can share it that way this is how a summary of a blog post is or you know content page is shared uh, a, a share uh, on mobile you can see here on a mobile uh, site here's a Pinterest share off of Pinterest onto Twitter is how it comes out looking on Twitter but via your website all right so it came through your website to Pinterest to Twitter and this is how it looked all right so Twitter cards with video so you can see how the different sharing can happen right well it doesn't work if you don't have the capability to share it from your site and the ability to share it from your site comes within the WP social SEO booster for WordPress the pro version okay for open graph 
in the settings here, we can go in and for this is our base settings for the site and for our home page. We can fine tune how that is shared, how that's seen for the home page and the base settings across the site. That base setting can be used as a default for the entire site. Now, as for Facebook Open Graph, now as we talked about with uh, Google Plus when we share this, we can customize this by, you know, here I clicked on the wrong thing again. We can customize this with our with the pro version here, the SEO booster. We have the ability to do Google Plus item prop, which is the same thing as Facebook Open Graph. We now have the ability to customize that for our site. And as you can see, we have the Google authorship set up and our Google publisher status as well, which is what you need for your site itself. You have publisher status that's for your website and then you have authorship and we can do a home page author if we want and then we can do a page by page post by post um, setup which is what I was showing here in in your actual WordPress profile settings you have two settings you have one to establish your Twitter card ID and then you can do it on an individual uh, basis as well but uh, here for your Twitter card setup and for your your Google Plus profile you add all you have to do to set this up is add in your Google Plus profile URL and then in Google Plus you set up yourself as a contributor to your website. All you have to do is add your website URL, base domain name, whatever into your Google Plus profile as a site that you contribute to. That's it. It establishes connection. After that, all you have to do is write content and make sure you're the author in the poster page. So that's all you have to do for that. Now, Twitter, as we talked about here a second ago with the uh, Twitter card API connection. So when we go in here, it's the same thing. Twitter cards is the same thing. And you can check your you know base settings for your site here. This we're talking about the home page, base settings, default settings for your site, near your default image, etc. For setting and the Twitter card type, you know. For the home page, etc., you can, you know, work that all out here. You can, you know, switch it up to be video player, uh, photo, summary, whatever you want to do for that particular content. How you want that page to be shared on Twitter, and here you you see how you uh, participate in uh, Twitter cards. You have to connect that here on the site, and how you do it. So. Then after that, we have rich snippet integration for uh, star ratings. Uh, part of our rich snippet in integration, you can set it up here um, on the site. You can flush the ratings when you want if you want to start over, um, but that's part of the rich snippets integration, and that's also in the free version of the plugin. Now, when we get into um, our individual uh, pages and posts, right here for like the SEO Booster Pro page, how we went in there and fine-tuned the settings for that. Well, you go in to, uh, for instance, in our custom post type here, you'll be able to see that, um, one, we've integrated with the WordPress SEO plugin. And you see, you don't see the social tab over here anymore because now you don't need it. Because now with the, uh, SEO booster, and let me get past the social review engine settings here. With the SEO booster, you see as an author, I have myself set up on this page as, as the author for it. And then we have the individual settings for the SEO booster that you can establish across the spectrum here. Um, everything from your Facebook open graph settings, um, every individual thing, video URLs, video heights with audio that you have in here audio artist, album, Facebook IDs, multiple app IDs, and admin IDs, all right here on an individual page by page, post by post, uh, custom post type by custom post type basis, all the stuff I previously said. And then here, your Google Plus item prop stuff that we already that I just got done talking about. With the WordPress SEO plugin, all you can customize is the description. Well, here with item prop, you can get down in the nitty gritty here and change your title, change the image for every page and post on your site. All right, customize it no matter 
what you have in your post, you can make it look different if you want. All right, for uh, Twitter, same thing. And here we talked about the, the uh, Twitter cards. And you actually have the Twitter testing tool to see how it looks when you're done. So you could set this up, then go to the Twitter testing tool, check it out, and see how it looks in Twitter to make sure you select your card type here. If you just want to be a summary of your blog post, which is most common, uh, individual photo, if it's a photo blog that you're using or, or it's a video, you're doing video blogging, you're only concentrating on that video that you're, you're putting out. All right, that can be in here and it'll be connected to this blog post anyway. So either, either way, it'll be there. The title, you can customize. Description, how you want this to show up in Twitter. The image, you want showed up. The player card type. URL of uh, video to an iframe player, right? Um, the width, the height, all of it set up here in the pro version of the plugin. And then you get into the rich snippet information from reviews, individual product information, as we talked about, individual product price, currency, on sale price, name of the seller, all that information, business information that you can also show on your site as well, a business card, H card on your site. Individual people information, rich snippets, recipe, software, which can also be used for apps. If you are an app creator and you want that shared, here is the individual video rich snippets that'll help your videos get ranked in Google, even if it's just a YouTube video. Put it in here, put all the information in here, and this helps it gets indexed in Google even better than by just posting a video. All right, that helps Google get the information and helps that video get indexed and ranked. All right, and then you have event rich snippets as well. So you can see now there is not another plugin out there which has all the features of the SEO Booster Pro. And now the big thing is the things that you don't see, the behind the scenes coding stuff that can only be seen when you're using these testing tools on Twitter, these testing, the rich snippet structured data testing tool, tool on Google, um, the, the things that can't be seen. Now you wanna be able to get you know listed and seen in things like uh, Facebook graph search, get your listings to be seen perfectly like this right here. Well, the only way to do it is to use the pro settings and the SEO Booster Pro plugin and enhance uh, what the individuals coming to your site are seeing. So they're not just seeing this, they're seeing everything, the video, the content, the buy now buttons, the reviews, everything. All right. So go ahead and uh, add the WP Social SEO Booster Pro plugin to your arsenal of WordPress SEO plugins now. Thanks.